seven. Good outside. The switch. Donchich goes over. Oh, What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys are doing well. As mama said, don't trust you. Actually, an uh, awesome member of the channel. Again, thank you so much for being a member. For you guys to further your support, that's just amazing to me. It's a big time optional, just a big time optional like decision for my channel. Just for you guys to do that, just thank you so much. If you have, if you guys ever need anything, be free to contact me on Twitter at TV or also like Gmail or my email clutchbball97 at gmail.com. I try to get to everyone's video ideas at some point. I have videos in the makes. I actually have one video coming out tomorrow when it comes to like our upcoming schedule. But yeah, guys, you guys are just absolutely amazing. And I really, really appreciate you guys. Shout out to Buzzer Beater. You guys know who you guys are. You, you guys are just absolutely amazing. It will be on the screen. Um, this channel would not be possible without you guys. I just try to make sure everyone has an input on this channel. Even if you're not a member, even if you're a subscriber, even if you smash the like button, even if you just check out the videos and you're not subscribed, you guys are just amazing. And I try to get everyone involved as much as possible. I'm actually going to have like a giveaway type of thing. Great idea by Buzzer Beater. As actually during the draft time in the off season, I'm going to be doing a giveaway type of thing like predicting you guys will predict like 1 through 14 of the lottery and whoever's the closest will get a prize so that should be a lot of fun because I want everyone to have an input like as much as possible and make sure you guys feel involved because I always try to treat people equally on this channel it's so much fun to do and I also saw a lot of people have off-season video ideas and I'm gonna I'm gonna do those but they're gonna be in the off-season because I feel like they really don't time up well with the channel and a lot of people are gonna be like why are you making off-season videos like like, this isn't the Knicks of the past. We're actually competing for the playoffs. I don't want to think about the draft right now. But don't worry, those are coming. But let me know down below if you have any, like, current event video ideas. Mama said again, thank you so much for the video idea. You're amazing, man. All of you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the great amount of support. And also, another update. On the 26th, the member stream will be coming. And that's going to be at 6 p.m. Eastern, Eastern time. Buzzer Beater actually asked about that. But wanted to make sure everyone knew. But yeah, guys, thank you so much. Anyone that views, anyone that likes, anyone that subscribes, anyone that dislikes um, for me to continue to make content for you guys. But anyway, let's talk about Nerland's Noel. Of course, Nerland's Noel was actually really hyped up back in like one of the earlier NBA draft. He actually came out of the Anthony Bennett draft. What a disappointment of a draft that was as he was drafted high by the Philadelphia 76ers. There was even some mock drafts. They had a mock number one to the Cleveland Cavaliers for his high upside. Of course, he's this really tall dude, long wingspan, really impactful on the defense side of the basketball. People love the energy he brought to the game. And in my opinion, Nerland's in a well, like he hasn't really lived up to that lottery pick or high lottery pick status, but he's still a very effective player. And we got him on a steal of a contract of an only a one-year deal. And this is someone I personally think we should bring back as an, emer an emergency type of player, or even our like center of the future, even though I don't really think he's our center of the future. He's just that much of a liability offensively, but everyone has their own opinions. Like if we create the backcourt good enough, we could live with a New Orleans Noel because in today's NBA, you don't need a Ewing. You don't need an Akeem Olajuwon. You don't need a Shaq. You just need a serviceable center at the end of the day. And I'm one of those people. I'm not huge on like giving a big time max to a center unless you're a generational talent of like a Joel Embiid or a Nikola Jokic, if you know what I'm saying. But he's been extremely serviceable for this team ever since Mitchell Robinson went down. He's top five in shot blocking. He's just been amazing. He may not have the talent level of a Mitchell Robinson when it comes to the comes to his athleticism head above the rim but gosh he has better awareness when it comes to Mitchell Robinson but at the end of the day Mitch has only been in the league for a few years so he could always brush up on those things and learn but New Orleans Noel his ability to time blocks just knowing where to be in the paint he helps his defense out so much and because he's such a beast in the paint it's really bringing this identity to the New York Knicks defense of these guys like being afraid to drive down low because they're like I'm not driving down there again but he's definitely been the unsung hero a lot of people like to bring up Alec Burks because he's been amazing he's another guy we should bring back like coming off the bench type of guy and Nerlens Noel should be brought back as well he's just been amazing Tibbs loves defense he seems a guy seems like a guy that just wants to win he brings big time energy and just energizes um the crowd even though there's like a little crowd in Madison Square Garden Knicks fans still getting pumped I'm getting pumped watching New Orleans Noel on defense. But yeah, Alec Burks may be more fun to watch because he brings a lot more offensively. He's closing games, hitting big shots. Of course, I hope he feels better. Of course, he, as of right now, has the virus. But his ability to hit shots from mid-range territory downtown, New Orleans Noel, again, he is completely nothing on offense. Sometimes he could drop the basketball, but he's been so effective for the New York Knicks. Top five in blocks, and he's just been extremely serviceable. Again, 
Mitchell Robinson, he may be younger and he may be more talented, like head above the rim. But this guy, of course, still has doesn't have like a hook shot in his arsenal, mid-range shot. And I think it, it could actually hurt Mitchell Robinson's value in the offseason because he's continued to get injured since his rookie year. And yes, he's good, but he still wants the same style of play. But again, I'm not going to extremely knock him, of course, because he's still a young player and he could still add things to his game. But just seeing how serviceable Nerlens Noel could be and being like um, just as effective could definitely hurt Mitch's value of how much money he gets in the offseason if it's from us or an upcoming team because it just shows like the Knicks aren't lost without Mitch Robinson. He doesn't make that much of an impact like compared to a Joel Embiid. He still makes an impact, but he's not like a generational type of talent, if you know what I'm saying. But he's definitely been this unsung hero on the defense side of the basketball. He's been making a great impact clutch blocks down the stretch like the Brandon Ingram one he had, the one he had on Brandon Ingram was great last night and of course the one he had on Finney Smith was just disgusting it was just amazing and I loved it but yeah let me know down below your thoughts I appreciate all your support and peace out guys